G'day YouTube and welcome to the next video in Living with Bladder Extrophy. This one I'm going to be titling Living with Bladder Extrophy Parents, Children and Family. Now, why have I titled it this? Well, I want to focus on the parents, the children and the families with the kids that are born with bladder extrophy. It's going to be a bit of a long subject to talk about, but I just want to start off with this is going to be a good video for people to watch, hopefully, and I hope you guys get a lot out of it. Um, I know my last videos are not what people are wanting and are not viewing them. Um, I know bladder extrophy is pretty a uh, subject that people don't really want to talk about because it's really personal it's something that's hard to live with sometimes I know but I'm here to try and help people understand bladder extrophy a little bit more me with bladder extrophy myself I know how it feels sometimes for people that are struggling with it and um, yeah now, parents, you guys, it's a struggle for you, and I feel your pain, you guys, the parents, you are living a mini little journey yourselves, looking after children, looking after your child with blood or extra fee. It's hard, I know. You guys are doing a really fantastic job. And keep that job up. Keep the work up. It's hard. It's tiring, I know. Some parents are going to find it easy to do this. Some people are going to find it a little bit of a struggle. And the struggle is real. But please, don't take this as an offence. It will get easier, trust me. The first couple of months when your baby's born with blood or atrophy, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard, I know. But there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. You guys... There is support for the parents out there. Trust me, you guys are doing one of the most fantastic jobs you can ever do as a parent. You are looking after your child on a daily basis and it's a great job that you are doing it. It's something that people don't really think about and they should think about it, that you are looking after and doing a great job. Also, you guys crying about your child in a remote place that your child doesn't see or hear what you're doing, I take, I feel your pain. And what all you need is a big hug and You are doing a great and wonderful job. Keep up the good work. You will find it a lot more easier if you open up and let your other partner know, your husband, your wife, whoever is upset, you've got to let it out and tell them. I know you don't want to let your child see what's going on, but it shows real emotions that you really do care. And if you need support, you need help, go to your GP, find, ask for help, ask that you are struggling and it's okay to be a, it's okay to struggle. It's okay. You know, 
it's not meant to be easy and um but you were put on this earth to do a job to look after a child and your job has done an amazing effort for that child or that has blood or extra feet. You'll be doing a lot of reading or a lot of listening. You'll be doing a lot of research on the internet or listening to your urologist, child urologist. If you don't understand anything, ask. They are happy to explain it easier for you. It's not going to be easy, but remember, you have other parents with bladder extrophy child. You can ask for help. If you live close, have a get together over a coffee or something and have a chat. Or rely on your family as well. Ask family members to help, even if they don't understand what the condition is talk to them you know you need to open up let them know how you're feeling for the parents that aren't struggling like this and and aren't needing help you guys are still doing a wonderful wonderful job please take the time and listen to this you are all doing a wonderful job looking after your child it's a struggle for some people I know but please rely on our families rely on family members that will like to listen who will help you guys out you guys will need as much help as possible in some situations and just trying to know how to look after things it's not going to be easy but remember you guys are doing a fantastic job and just keep on fighting the good fight that we know that you guys can do and just keep on focusing on all the positives in life. You know, keep the miles, keep recording all the milestones that your child does. Take photos, take videos, do what you need to do to document all the happy times that your child will go through. Keep everything in detail as much as you can if you can you know just focus on all that needs to be done your child will thank you your child will thank you and they will be so happy when they reach an age where they understand everything that's gone on they will be so grateful that you have been in their lives. They will be so happy. And they will be really, really glad that they knew you as parents. And yeah. Or if you don't have parents or you've got siblings looking after siblings or, you know, you're not married or whatever. Whoever looks after those children are doing a fantastic job you know anybody that's looking after someone with any sort of medical needs are doing a fantastic job not just bladder extrophy but I'm focusing just on bladder extrophy and it's not an easy thing to be keeping an eye on but it can happen and I know the struggles are real my parents went through that with me and it's not 
easy, but there is always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always, always plenty of support from people who have bladder extrophy, who know someone with bladder extrophy can come and help you. Reach out, go on the internet, find websites, go to the Association of Bladder Extrophy website. They've got plenty of material there. Go on Facebook, find all the support groups that you can find. There's plenty out there. We're willing to help you guys out as parents or family members. Please reach out over the internet as much as you can or rely on your GP or rely on your urologist. Ask if the hospital has any support groups. Ask if they can start one if they don't have one because we need to try and help people as much as we can in this community of bladder extrophy. Now, to the kids of bladder extrophy, please listen to your parents on some of the things that you're going to grow up living with. Some Just please focus on looking after your your bladder health if your parents say something to you regarding it please listen it's something that we need to try and look after and you are going to struggle as well but listen I've got bladder extrophy myself and yes the struggles are real I've been through a lot. Some people haven't been through a lot. Some people have been through a lot worse than I have. But please stay strong. Listen to your parents. Don't go on a rant and say, oh, I'll use the toilet later on. When your parents say, please go, Please do go. Your bladder is so important. And you need to look after yourselves as best as you can. Some children will find this really easy to do. And congratulations, it's great. You are all doing a wonderful job. When it comes to school, go to school. Do everything you possibly can. You know, if you focus, if you want to focus on a certain subject, do it and go strong and go for what you want to do. I never did well at school and that's put me down and backed me off a lot. But please don't let that scare you. You have been doing so brilliantly just focus on the positives of life and just keep on going going listen to your urologists your GPs listen to everyone your parents and remember they're there to help you they're not there to make your life miserable they're there to help you and guide you on the right way to what needs to be done to be you guys to be looked after now you have gone through a lot of operations some of you some of you haven't um it's gonna be rough but at the end of the day Every operation makes you stronger. Another scar, another battle scar can appear. But remember, just stay strong. It's going to be painful, I know. Just remember, the doctors and the nurses are there to help you out. 
and to make sure that you are healthy for the next whatever in your life. It's not fun, I know, but after everything, trust me, you'll feel a lot, a lot more better off when you've been fixed up even more. You know, it's tough trying to go through all of this. I know. You miss out on your friends. You miss school and all that. And you don't want to go to the hospital. And I understand that. But it's for your own good. And parents, you guys do an amazing job when your child's in hospital. It's tough for you guys. I know. Watching your young child be put off to sleep for the next stop. That's hard. And that's tough. But remember, the doctors, the nurses who are looking after, who are caring for your child, some of them have the same pain. They know what it's like to have a child, have their, probably have their own child go under. And just trying to get all what's out there, out there, you know, so, we need to focus on everything that's bladder extra fear related, like I said, I just want to say, there is support groups for anybody that's watching these videos, there is definitely support out there. The main one is the Association of Bladder Extrophy, which is on the internet. Um, they do a wonderful job. They, the organisation does a lot for bladder extrophy. And without them, I don't know what some of the other countries would do. They help a lot of con developing countries with medical care. They bring out medical supplies. They, they do a lot, and without them, what would those third other countries do with bladder atrophy who don't have the right urology departments looking after? Some of the training that they get can't deal with bladder atrophy. To the doctors and nurses who go off with Association of Bladder Atrophy are doing a fantastic job. So just if you need to look up information, the group is on the website. Um, also, the children with bladder atrophy, that what really would help them as well is finding other children with bladder atrophy for them to know that they're not going to be alone and that they're not the only child with bladder atrophy. With the conference coming up soon, that's another good opportunity for kids to meet kids and really open up the child to explain how they've been going through their journey. The journey is not an easy task for anyone and to open up is really hard. Bladder extrophy is very personal and very very tough thing to talk about and there's a lot of taboos around it and we need to try and not make it so much taboo. I understand that there are people and children and kids and teens and all that that don't want to talk about it that's fine but some people would like to talk about it and um you know we need to try and get a lot of things out there to help people we need more resources in other countries um you know 
we need to have better educational things about bladder atrophy, but that's where the Association of Bladder Atrophy comes in. They are one of the best organisations with bladder atrophy, and they know every little bit and things. And like I said, if you have any questions, you can go to their website. They've got community, you can communicate with them as well if you really need help. But also, like I said, please rely on your doc, your GPs, your urologist, the hospital as well. Try and get the help you all need and it will all get easier. You know, I'm just, um, you know, I might not be popular and all that and I'm sorry that I put a lot of negativity in stuff but it's some of it's real stuff and needs to be put out there and you know just trying to help I want to try and help more people than I have ever done you know I in the last couple of years I haven't been on any of the groups really because of my mental health um, it's affected me severely but me making these videos I really want to try and make them so that people can see them hear what I'm talking about and it might spread out there and I might be able to help somebody if you are wanting help and you don't want you don't know what to do I'm always here to help I'm always here you know this Aussie bloke is here and I'm always always open you know I'm a soft softy at heart and you know blood atrophy is not going to stop me from doing anything you know, I might not be an adventurous one, I might not be a famous radio star, I might not be a famous policeman or something. I'm only a an, an lonely little mat here in Australia, living in Brisbane, in the land down under, you know, working my little retail job. You know, but I just want to try and help as many people with blood atrophy as I can. Spread the word. And, you know, that's where Facebook comes into handy. Google is handy, you know. But please, go to the association. They have a lot of different stuff. For parents, children, teenagers, adolescents, family members. You know, they're here to help you as much as I'm here to help you. I just want to try and make this spread out so people know that that content is out there on the internet and we know that we can help people you know just please everyone spread this out to everyone you know that's in the community let them know that I'm here to help you know you're there to help people I'm here to help you know and to the kids, let them know that they can help other children with blood or extra feet. You know, we're all superheroes and we can fight this. You know, we we can just keep going and fight the good fight. To the, you know, this is going to be a long journey and but it does some days get easier. Take it from me. Take it from some other adults with blood or atrophy. You know. We, you know. We were born with this because we could handle it. To the kids, you were born with blood or atrophy because you, because you can handle it. You know. We are strong people. 
the parents are strong parents, you know, you all live to, in one big community we do, we are happy to help, we are happy to help one another, and we try and spread everything out there, you know, it's not easy to live with some of it, you know, but remember, we're always here to help, and remember, I'm here, I'm always here, as an Aussie, and you guys are all worth, your blood's all worth bottling, every single one of you guys, your blood's worth bottling, which means your friendship is going to stay strong, and it's going to cherish in a day-to-day -day situation. So just, if you can't find anybody to help your child, come to me and I'll help. I'm happy to help. Ch the children need help, the parents need help. That's why all the parents on these places and reach out and help other people. That's what the groups are for and we will try to encourage everyone to help each other. You guys are fantastic. Everyone keep up the brilliant work. I'm off now. I've got to take my kangaroo to the local park. I'll see you guys later guys. Bye everyone.